So guys, are you thinking about moving to Apple just because of something silly like AirDrop? Don't worry, I'm in the same boat, but we've got something that's going to change your mind because it has for me. No more dragging large files with Google Drive and things like that. I'm going to show you a really cool way that you can use AirDrop, but it's not AirDrop. It's something even better that allows you to use on any device, whether it be Apple, whether it be Android, whether it be Windows, you name it, it's there for all. Shall we have a look? So if you don't know already, I'm a MacBook Pro user and I use an Android purely because I use my phone and laptop for different reasons. You're like probably think that's annoying Charlotte, why don't you just have an Apple laptop, an Apple phone and then you're sorted. No, no, no. So I've been using Local Sound for quite some time now and it allows me to just transfer over files from my phone to my laptop, my laptop to my phone, either or really, really quickly. Previously, I used to use Google Drive, upload videos there, download. It takes quite a while, or even sending through WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger. But now I've never gone back to that. It's so quick and easy to send through local send. And it really annoys when people that have Apple iPhones, like, oh, I can just send it on AirDrop. I'll AirDrop at you. I'm like, I don't have AirDrop. I'm like, hold on a minute. And I've got local send, no more stress anymore. Or people asking me, can I AirDrop it to you? Because anything, is possible with Android and a Mac user. So Local Send is a cross-platform open source tool. It works for Android, Mac OS, Windows, Lunex, even iOS. So it's one for all. So it allows you to connect to the same network and send over files really, really quickly. So I'm gonna quickly show you how it works to get signed up really, really fast. Download the app and it's on your desktop that you can use. Same with the phone, download the mobile app. It's really, really quick. So once you've downloaded the app, open it up and you'll see that you your specific device has a name. So for example, mine's Solid Peach, just so any device can identify you easily. If you go on there, you'll see options for sending files, media, copying, pasting text, which I will show you in a bit. We're gonna focus on adding a video file right now. So you'll see that the Tidy Pair laptop is showing already as a nearby device that you can send to. So you'll see the, the phone is at the top, the laptop is the bottom, it's waiting for me to accept on my laptop, so I click accept. Really, really fast, what we're talking three seconds. So that's really, really quick, no problems at all. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send two files. So two screen recordings, I've just done my phone for this specific YouTube video. The phone is gonna send these screen recordings and I've got to accept on the laptop. Track progress will take 11 seconds. So we're looking at here, 7, 67 megabytes, 37 megabytes, we're talking 103. And there we go, file sent over, drop down. So now let's compare this with the AirDrop. Do you see much difference? We're talking a couple of seconds here, guys. It's really, really no difference. Either or, both are amazing, but the point is I'm not able to be recognized with an Android with the AirDrop. Local Send allows you to connect with all devices. So it's not just biased towards Apple, it loves them all, basically. And it doesn't just stop at files, guys. You see here, there's a text option. So it means that when I get pieces of text that I want to paste over, can be anything, I can just add a note there and paste it over. It's really, really cool. Like if I get information from ChatGPT or I'm doing research, I can just paste it over quickly, not have to transfer it over to WhatsApp like I was doing previously. So when you send the text, same process as everything else, send it to the device, let it send over, and you'll see that the paste, pasted text is there. And it'll pop up there, you can paste large pieces of text, send it over. You can also click to save your items to favorites. So you can also send folders, so not just files, but also folders, as well as apps. So you could select an app and also send that over. So that's really, really cool. It's not just one option. There's a lot we can access. What do you guys think? Did you know about this already? Let me know in the comments below. So I've tried different types of app, but this one is the best one I've used because it's no stress. It's just super quick and it doesn't feel like a big job. Let's compare them side by side just to see the differences. Combines compatibility, AirDrop has iOS, Mac only, whereas with Local Send, Android, Mac, Windows, Linux, and iOS. OS. Large folders, both of them can do the same. Clipboard, yes, within Apple for AirDrop and with Local Send across all platforms. Encryption, it's got an Apple ecosystem for AirDrop, whereas with Local Send, you've got peer to peer TLS encryption. You've got internet needed, both of them, no. Obviously, with setup, with Apple, it's already installed, no need to install anything. Obviously, with Local Send, you need to install it, but it looked, took me about, I'd say, 30 seconds to install it, no problem. And you can just have it on your desktop every time you do login. So that is 
is how you bridge the gap between having either an iPhone and a Windows device, or like me, you've got a MacBook Pro and an Android device. It just makes it even easier for us to use technology without having to be biased between specific brands or names. What do you guys think? I love to share my experience with you guys. Lots of Android reviews, Mac reviews, lots for you guys to check out. I'll pop it straight after this. Don't forget to hit that like button if you'd like this video and subscribe for more weekly updates. Thanks guys, have a good one.